The striped bass, the apex predator on the Colorado River. The striped bass need to feed got the better of his judgment. The striped bass has a very big menu on the Colorado River. Topping the menu is the rainbow trout, stocked by various agencies in the river. This is the candy feed for the striped bass. The crawdad, second on the list, but not last on the list, as the striped bass eat anything and everything that they can get their mouths on. The redfin shad, plentiful in the Colorado River, especially on the lower sections towards Havasu. These are abundant in the middle of winter and the striped bass love them. During the summer, the larger female striped bass will feed on the giant gizzard shad, all found throughout the Colorado River. The bluegill is another tasty morsel that the striped bass enjoy eating. striped bass can be found feeding in swift currents where its prey is swept downriver where the striped bass will give chase and find its next meal. Beginning in late March through April and May, the striped bass will spawn. The larger females will move to the spawning grounds with many of the smaller males following for their need to breed. The diet will need to be fed and will increase as these fish go into a feeding frenzy, getting ready to create more life. The cycle of life will continue without fail. There will be some winners and there will be some losers. In the end, 
the striped bass is the king of the Colorado River and will remain the apex predator. The eggs of the striped bass will hatch in two to three days, after which the larvae move slowly downstream. Juveniles live in the shallows of the rivers throughout the summer. Most spend their first two years of life in the river in which they were born. These striped bass will live from 10 to 30 years remaining the king of its domain, the mighty Colorado River. Since its introduction, the striped bass has been an integral part of the Colorado River's ecosystem. As anglers, it is our responsibility to be great stewards of the environment and the impacts that we have on the Colorado River. The striped bass provides for the recreational fishermen, the competitive fishermen, bringing our community together to share in this great and wonderful sport. So as anglers and as visitors of the Colorado River and those using it for recreation, we beg that you be good stewards of this great river that we have by keeping it clean so that all of our next generations can enjoy what the striped bass has provided us and what the Colorado River gives. Look for part three next week. Happy fishing to you all.